Hello, so I'm here to do my review on the new Avengers film, Age of Ultron. Okay, so I went into it not expecting all that much because I was half asleep when I watched the first one and because of that I didn't really enjoy it and apparently it wasn't that good anyway. So I was like, it's gonna be okay. I'm just gonna look at attractive people the whole time really, aren't I? But it was a good film. Um, I feel like I've let people down a little bit with my attire today. Like, I would have worn an Avengers top, but my only Marvel clothing is pyjamas from Primark. And, and don't mind dressing casual on camera, but not that casual. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a non-spoiler section and I will let you know when I start spoiling you. Although, actually yeah, there will be fairly major spoilers. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, this section may not be especially long because it's a sequel and it's kind of hard not to spoil people but I will tell you as much as I can and give you a pretty good opinion of it. Okay, so they introduced two new characters that I'm particularly interested in um, and it wasn't until I wanted to Google them when I got home that I realised that even though I'd watched a film with them right the way through and I got so attached to their characters I hadn't the foggiest what their names were I later asked my friend Jake and he told me they were meant to be the Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. Um, Quicksilver, played by Aaron Taylor Johnson, yes, aka Robbie from Angus Thongs and Perfect Snogging, aka one of the most attractive people on planet Earth. And there was his twin sister who had amazing fashion sense and absolutely gorgeous makeup. I am so jealous. I wish I looked exactly like her so I could pull that makeup off. They were twins and I really like this because I always love brother-sister relationships. Not romantic ones, obviously. I'm not a Lannister. Um, and I think, especially when the brother's older, even if it's only by 12 minutes, you know, they still have a bit of an air of superiority about them. And I think this is because I have an older brother myself. Uh, he's three years older than me. He's 17, nearly 18. Um, and so, yeah, I can really relate to brother-sister relationships and how close they are. Especially ones that are quite close, because me and my brother never argue. film was hilarious. Lots of running jokes about who's worthy of Thor's hammer. You know, Cap doesn't like swearing. Individual films, they're all quite serious about all their powers and but when they all come together they make fun of each other's powers and it's really nice. It's lovely. I love the scenes where not so much action's happening, although I do love action scenes, um, and they're just sitting around making fun of each other. Now we're onto the spoiler section, so if you have not yet seen Avengers Age of Ultron, which you definitely should, it's in cinemas at the moment, and it's awesome, then go see it, and you will love it, I promise. Okay, so I love that this time there was a huge focus on saving people, and we got to see the side of S.H.I.E.L.D. that wasn't just about killing the baddies, but also about making sure not many civilians died in the process. So there was definitely a big focus on that, especially with Bruce, um, almost to the point where he did not want to save anyone, because he was so scared of hurting people. King of Bruce wasn't romance with Natasha, just a Horrible. I ship it. I ship it so hard. Um, I mean, I think she could have ended up with anyone there, but I think the fact that it's with the sort of shyer, like, sort of sweet guy is really nice, um, because they're not similar at all, and I think that's what makes them so special. I loved all their cute little moments, like, amongst the craziness. She seemed to be, like, the only one who could calm him down after he went all hulkish. And it was just really sweet. And I remember when they kissed the entire cinema, we just went, oh, Because it was adorable. And it was really sweet. I mean, then she pushed him off a cliff and he went all green. But details, details. When Aaron Johnson's character died. Oh, my God, I did not see that one coming. <laughs> I think that's exactly what he said just before he died. Oh my god. Um, I liked that his sister had a like grieving scene 
and I like that she got her vengeance, she avenged her brother, get it, get it, but I didn't like that she ripped out Ultron's heart, because the whole point of robots, because Ultron was effectively a robot, right, is that they don't have hearts, that's, that, that's what makes them robots. Didn't really like the weird red dude. Didn't really understand him. I, I, I sort of get something about a vision and weird thing with Hawkeye's healing skin and something like that. Um, I mean, he was a bit banterous, you know, <laughs> lifting Thor's hammer. Oh my god, in that scene, the entire cinema went silent. We were like, what the bloody hell? <sighs> Is he gonna rule Asgard now? And Everyone was just looking at Thor like, oh my god, what do we do, what do we do? <laughs> also that scene where Ultron was like, oh you're so naive, and then the red dude says, well I was born yesterday. Besides that, he kind of pissed me off a bit, oh my god I'm crying, why am I crying? I think I just got eyeliner in my eye. Through the little credits thing, like everyone was talking away about the film, and then as soon as it ended, someone just said, Oh, it's happening! And then everyone just like stopped instantly and just turned to the screen, like, Oh, it's happening. Oh, God, I pity those people who leave before the end of a Marvel film. And um, so it looks like that dude from Guardians of the Galaxy is going to be in the next Avengers film, which is exciting! Um. Oh my. Although it's amazing how everything in the Marvel Universe like pieces together, um, there is sort of a downside to it because it does give them so many opportunities for amazing, amazing storylines. But at the same time, in order to fully understand Age of Ultron, you had to see all their individual films, you know, the three Iron Mans, the two Captain Americas, the two Thors, and then you had to watch Guardians of the Galaxy, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which apparently was absolute shite. Um, so a lot of people haven't seen it and they couldn't fully, fully appreciate the film, which is the only downside to it. Um, anyways, great film. Definitely exceeded my expectations, so I was so happy leaving the cinema. I mean, I didn't talk about it all that much, because I can talk about a bad film for hours on end. And it was sort of like, actually that was really good. And then we didn't speak of it anymore. Uh, okay, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. I will be doing, I promise, my top 15 films of all time in the next couple of days. I keep promising someone in the comments that I'll do it. And, oh, I promise I will do it. I will do it because I'm really looking forward to the video. And I have started planning it, I promise. Okay, so thank you all so much for watching. Goodbye.